Creepers. I'm back. How the heck are you guys? This is a place we've crept to a couple times before in the past, the Gresham Historical Society slash Museum. There are some artifacts in here, some relics of the past that'll fit right into this vlog, which is of Fred Meyer. That's right, the store out here in the Pacific Northwest. Some of you may know it as Kroger, but here in Portland started as a Fred Meyer way back when. Let's go in here and check it out. All right, so we're all signed in. And like I said, this place has a ton of historical artifacts and relics all throughout the history of Gresham, really, and Oregon in general. But today we're here for, more specifically, a tidbit of history of Fred Meyer. That's right, a gentleman that came to Oregon and established many of stores throughout the years, actually to this day, still a ton of Fred Meyers all over. Um, you may know them, like I said, as Kroger, uh, but for me, it's always been Fred Meyer. And so today, we lucked out, and I figured, well, I think I will go into the Gresham Historical Museum and see if they have any relics, actually, of some of the items, or maybe just some old pictures. And I lucked out because they have an entire case. Let's check it out. All right, so right here we are greeted not only with a Fred Meyer sign here on top, but you may see the Mighty Fine as well. Mighty Fine was the name of their marketing, um, their coffees, their products, really. Um, and it says 100 years ago, it was a different question. And then behind, and the man behind the question was Frederick Fritz Grubmeyer, a German immigrant at an early age. He worked at his father's grocery store in Brooklyn, New York. By 1906, he was working for the Grand Union Tea Company in Seattle. And in 1911, Fritz and his brother Bill formed the Mission Tea Company of Portland and delivered tea, coffee, and spices to rural eras and logging camps from the back of a wagon. That include camps in the Columbia River Gorge, Powell Valley, and later known as Gresham. So if you can see, it actually started out as a coffee merchant um, described by the name as Mighty Fine. It goes on to say, through many sibling partnerships, Fritz took his business sense, his entrepreneurial spirit, and a shortening of his name and made a name for himself. The name was Fred G. Meyer. And his philosophy about customer service have filled books on display here and are only a few of the memories of when the mighty fine merchant supplied the needs of Gresham families. If you look at this display, think of these stories of a man who only completed the fifth grade and in 1922 was one small booth in an open air market in downtown Portland. Wow, that is so cool. It also goes on to say by 1928, Prince owned the block of market booths. He kept his eyes open, constantly looking for the best in each booth. Within months, the booths were owned by Meyer and became a Meyer and, or a Fred Meyer store. God, that is so cool. Looking to move part of his business out of downtown, he conducted research by paying over time parking tickets for his downtown customers. He gleaned their home addresses and learned that many of the customers lived in North East Quadrant of Portland. So the Hollywood district of Portland, two miles east, would be the next site for his, sur his first suburban store and in 1931, he completed the block at 42nd Avenue and Sandy Boulevard. It was opened as a one-stop market. Mr. Meyer had chosen the block directly across from the iconic Hollywood Theater, which was built in 1926. All right, you guys, so they've got this entire case here, like I said, full of really cool old-timey products, a little bit more things that you would find under the Mighty Fine product and also the Fred Meyer label. There he is right there, Fred Meyer, the Mighty Fine merchant himself. Right before he started the actual Fred Meyer products, you can see Fred Meyer presents Mighty Fine double edge blades. God, I love seeing this old timey products. Here's an actual Fred Meyer product itself, which I believe to this day is now under the Kroger name. 
for their, you know, generic or their company items. But this is some cheese bread. Here's some really old timey ice cream boxes here and you can see the Fred Meyer logo on there. And they've even got a little box of some candies. You can see where the, the, the iconic Fred Meyer symbol has changed a little bit. This is more like a cursive style. But there's some ice cream and a little box of candies. Gosh, here's a cool item. Check out this Meyer. I keep saying, I keep trying to say Meyer. Fred Meyer Thrift Club Valuable Coupon Book. New 1940 edition, 10 cents. Clip all the coupons and save over $46. God, that is so cool. Here's some coffee you would have found. Fifth Avenue. And look at this little tiny bottle here from the, let me get it to focus, from the original store there. You can see 514 Southwest 6th. Fred Meyer for thrifty buyers. And it looks like it's a some sort of stainless solution. Interesting. That is so cool though from the original store. Here's some actual milk here. Sold only at Fred Meyer. All Jersey. Back then I think most people would have their milk delivered still in the glass bottles. But you could tell the Mighty Fine Company was trying to kind of establish an all store for everything you could find. Butter, milk, products of any sort. That is so cool. Look at the little cows wearing a crown. Queen of quality. From the back to the front there, they've got some some small courage cottage cheese there with the mighty fine emblem. And then they've also got some cinnamon. And check it out. A jar of peanut butter with the old mighty fine logo. And if you look closely at the bottom there, you can still see Fred Meyer where they were kind of incorporating that with the mighty fine logo. So cool. Looks like there's even some old recipe books here. And if you look closely there on the gray, you can see Fred Meyer. And it looks like at that time their little slogan was for thrifty buyers, as we saw on the other items as well. They made it to where you could basically pick up any items for any one of these delicious meals. That is so cool. And again, like I said, their font for the Fred Meyers basically stayed the same over the years, except for on some of the products they were a little different with the, the underlying there on that one. And they kind of stayed the same throughout the years. So cool. Oh cool, look at this too. They've even constructed a little a little layout of some old newspaper articles here with the Fred Meyer logo there and as you can see you could basically have bought anything bath powder flannel pajamas record albums aprons toothpaste candles Fred Meyer lucky buck savings 1964 wow that's so cool Morgan Journal Thursday, October 15th, 1964. So cool. Check it out, there's even a... The little transparencies for the complete photo finishing services that they offered. That's so cool, and I love that old, old style box, it's so neat. They've even got one of the lids from one of the old strawberry ice cream sundaes, and if you guys remember, those came with like a little wooden spoon. Gosh, I remember those are so good. I had the, I remember having the orange cream ones. But if you see there, it actually says Fifth Avenue. And then in Fred Meyer, Inc., Portland, Oregon, right there on the, on the Sunday. The little cup, the little packaging for the little cup. Gosh, that's cool. All right, you guys, that was fun looking at all the old timey merchant stuff. And I was, 
I was so happy to see that people hang on to this stuff and can share it with future generations. You know, Fred Meyer, just from what I've read, seemed to be a very honorable businessman. He always helped people out. It also goes on to say Fred Meyer opened a store across the street from the Civic Stadium in 1939. He expanded to North Portland. Wartime store opened in 1943. The new Hawthorne store in 1951. The Interstate store in 53. The Gateway Shopping store in 1954. And in 55, the Hollywood Market, nearly 25 years old, was rebuilt featuring a solid cement structure with a warehouse in the basement, shopping on the main floor, auto parking on the roof. The Rockwood Fred Meyer store opened in 1958. The Gresham store, when it opened in 1976, was the last openings before Mr. Meyer passed away in 1978. And it goes on to say today there are more than 130 stores that bear the name mighty fine merchant Fred G. Meyer. That is so cool, man. One man, one dream, and still, still running today. The Fred Meyer sign hasn't changed too much. A little bit of the font. But this is the Wood Village Fred Meyer's as of today, 2021. Pretty big store. They got the garden section over here. You used to have to go across the street to the different sections, but most of the Fred Meyers now are all in one, so that's pretty cool. All right, so we are here. This is the Gresham Fred Meyers, one of the last Fred Meyers that Fred Meyer himself was able to see open. This was actually one of the last stores. This is the last store that he opened before his passing. Here's a better view of the front here, which back in the 90s, as far as I can remember, you used to be able to see the big Fred Meyer sign right up top here. It's still in there. It's just behind this glass. Let's go in and see if we can get a better look here. Kind of harder to see with the glare, but the old sign is still right up there. But if you can see, they still have the old sign here as well. It's just hanging on the inside now in the, in the windows. But still the, I'm believing that's the original sign. Could have changed a little or been replaced, but I'm guessing they have them on the insides now so they, they last a little longer. Got all their Easter stuff out. This store is pretty big, like I said. They've done a good job of putting all the sections together now, basically making it a one-stop. Got all their Easter stuff. Nice. Most of the Fred Myers have the Starbucks kiosks located inside of them as well. Look how good these cases look. They got it set up so nice. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. It all looks so good. You guys, these cases are always so amazing, bro. Look at these sandwiches. They got this old timey pick here with Multnomah Falls and Mount Hood. Welcome to Gresham Fred Meyer, serving you since 1976. All right, found this little spot here on this bench. You guys can see I got the Fred Meyer bag as well. And we got some items inside here from the deli, but I'm going to walk over to the park and enjoy them at the park. All right, found me a nice little quiet spot here on this bench. All right, so got me this little spot here inside the Gresham Park. And for lunch, well, more like a little snack, I opted for some Dad's Root Beer in the bottle and I also got some of this really good 
Fred Meyer sun-dried tomato pasta salad. And for 210, you get a whole bunch. So I'm going to give this a whirl. I love their deli there. It's very fresh. They've got a lot of great selection. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy this little bit of Fred Meyer pasta. Grand total, $3.98. Not too bad. Definitely a great little spot to post up here and eat my little lunch. Kind of snackage. That root beer is really good and the pasta salad is excellent. That's going to do it for today. Make sure you guys hit that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. If you did enjoy this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can hit that red subscribe button too. Become a creeper today. But from Fred Meyer, I love you guys. Creeper out for now. Peace.